Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Fangxi Jiayun. This is the newest Fangxi that's come out. This is the 57mm one. Uh, it didn't just come out, it came out a little while ago and I ordered it from the cubicle and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it yet. Um, I have been using this quite a bit. I haven't really speed solved in about a week though. I've been really busy doing some stuff. Um, but anyways, this is what the box looks like. It's your typical Fangxi box. I really like the way that the Fangxi makes their box with the top layer being the actual cube. And uh, this is a 57 millimeter one. Uh, I guess they're gonna ha either have come out or will come out with a 54.6 millimeter as well. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing and take a look at it. Now I have lubed this thing. I haven't put any other stickers on here because um, the stickers are actually indented into the puzzle. So let's take a look at that. So you can see here that the sticker's there, but there's this ridge that goes all the way around the pieces. You can really see it on the edge piece there, how the edge goes straight, but it kind of angles inwards where the sticker is. And it's just angled just enough to fit the sticker and it's depressed into the piece just enough that um, you won't chip the sticker with your finger. I'm sure you still might over time because you might be able to get your fingernail in there and accidentally chip it. But um, so far, I've been using this a lot, and you can see that there's absolutely no chips on this whatsoever. So I think that really does help uh, with that. And the depressions in the puzzle that hold the sticker aren't so deep that you actually really notice it. It's, it's a very subtle, and uh, I really like that. And I was, um, it's kind of cool that they did this because now looking back, I, I designed a burr puzzle that I want to have 3D printed that has depressions to put stickers on it. I didn't really realize that this puzzle has it too, but um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, show you some first turns on this thing. Um, I did lube this thing, um, and it was pretty good out of the box. It was still, it was totally bone dry, but it, it was still pretty good. Uh, corner cutting is pretty good. Uh, on the tensions I have it, which aren't too loose and aren't too tight, it's pretty much the tensions I like it at. Um, that the corner cutting doesn't really go 45, but I don't need it to go 45. I need it to go maybe about there when I'm doing my algorithms, right? There's no lockups. I, I, I mean, sometimes, yeah, okay, if I'm going too fast, like, oh, 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 right? But um, reverse corner cutting is also very good. It's definitely not as good as a MoU cube, I can tell you that. Um, this thing definitely lacks behind with speed and corner cutting when it comes to the newer MoU cubes. But this is still a very good cube. I think this is the best Fangxi that's ever come out. Um, and if you're a fan of Fangxi, I highly recommend this. This will not be my main cube. Whoop, what did I do there? <laughs> I did something. Um, but anyways, this will not be my main cube. Uh, I, I'm still using the, uh, the cubicles one that they sent me where they set up. I'm using the Along version two of that. Um, so, but I was using this one because I haven't been speed solving a lot lately and I just, uh, I really, really like the cubicle ones, but this is still a very, very good cube. The only thing I don't like about the Fangxi is how it's got the caps that come off and they actually, um, the same thing, if you guys will remember a long time ago, my fingernails catch on them and I mean, I could just clip my nails a little bit more, but it seems even with short nails, it, it still catches quite a bit. So that's 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 pretty much the main reason that I wouldn't use this as my main because if I'm going really fast and I catch a nail on one of the pieces, um, it actually really hurts. <laughs> it pulls up on my nail a bit. So let's go ahead and do a solve. Now keep in mind I haven't been speed solving a lot lately. So let's, where'd that go? See, it caught on my nail there again and hurt. Ah, again. I don't know if you could hear that little clicking. That's a terrible solve. Oh yeah, I did the wrong algorithm. <laughs> yes, I haven't been speed solving lately, guys. Let's do another one. Let's see if I can redeem that. All right, let's try this. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, so let's do another one. All right. Hmm. All right. Same G perm again. Anyways, uh, let's do a checkerboard pattern so you can see the color scheme. And that's one thing I really like about this puzzle is the sticker scheme. Um, it is pretty much bang on with my, uh, my sticker scheme that I use. The, the yellow is a bit brighter than I usually use, but um, the white is normal. It's always normal with white because you can't have uh, you know bright white. And if it was any darker, it would be gray. So um, the yellow, I think, is a little bit bright. The orange and red are very nice, and I really like the blue and green. It is really, really close to what I um, what I use on my own sticker scheme, so that's really nice. But yeah, again, this thin corner cuts more than enough that I need, and um, it's just a, a really nice, nice feeling puzzle. Um, sort of, it feels airy on the inside a little bit. Um, everything moves perfectly. Nothing bad about this puzzle, I can say, except for the fact that I don't like puzzles with these type of caps. I just don't. I don't know why. It's they, they catch on my fingernail. I've never heard anybody else complaining about that. It must just be me and my turning style. So um, don't let that discourage you from getting this if you wanted it, um, because I've never heard of anyone else who has that problem with them catching on their fingernails. It must just be me. Anyways, guys, this is the Fang Shi Jiayun. This is available at thecubicle.com. Link is at the top of the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.